The name of all names, how powerful you are, Jesus, Jesus. The name of all names, how wonderful you are, Jesus. I bow before your throne. Was not the contrary wind. The problem was not with the raging storm. The problem was with Peter because Peter set his gaze on the raging storm. Peter started watching the wind. He started seeing how boisterous the wind was. He started watching how strong and how powerful the contrary wind was. And because he focused on the contrary wind, what happened? He started sinking. But before he started sinking, what happened? Fear crept in. That means watching the contrary wind produced in, in him fear. In other words, he was watching. And as he was watching, his spirit was being dominated by fear. And because of that, what happened? He started going down. So the problem was he lost it there when he started focusing on the magnitude of the wind. He started focusing and watching how boisterous and how rough the wind was. So because of that, he started going down. He started traveling. So it was as a result of what? Watching and fear that brought about drowning. So please be mindful of what you watch. Be careful not to watch the contrary winds. Be careful not to watch the raging storm in a time like this. God bless you. Hello everyone. Hi beautiful people out there. Hi to every person that is watching me right now. I just want to say a big thank you to you all, everyone who has been viewing my videos, every one of you who has been here to, you know, react to the videos. May God bless you and I pray the Lord keeps you safe wherever you are at this moment. I know that a good Lord is faithful and he is more than able to preserve you, to preserve every one of us till the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it's your girl Claire and I remain your girl Claire. Today I'm going to be brief, meaning I will just quickly get into um, the message that I have for us today. It's actually um, just a few words of encouragement for someone out there. Um, I am actually out here today to say to us, be mindful of what you watch. In other words, don't watch the magnitude of the wind. Don't um, watch the, the magnitude of the raging storm. Don't watch how rough, you know, the contrary wind is and how um, boisterous the contrary wind is. In other words, don't let what is happening right now get to your spirit up to the point that you become anxious and you become um, afraid. So be careful what you watch because... At this point, there are a whole lot of things going on, even on the internet. So we just have to be careful on the internet, on social media, you know, on our tellies and all that. It's good to watch the news so that we can be informed of what is going on all around the globe. But at the same time, you just need to be careful and don't let what you watch get to you to the point that it takes hold of your spirit, it takes hold of your mind and begin to... Um, create fear. So I am going to quickly encourage us with the word of God today. I am trying to say be careful what you watch, be careful what you see, be, be careful what you hear. Because the things that we see, the things that we hear, the things that we watch, they do have an impact, you know, on our lives. They, they either affect us positively or negatively. So I am quickly going to take us to scriptures in the book of Matthew 14 from verse 22. Um, this actually happened after Jesus had already fed the 5,000 and then he said to his boys, let us cross over to the other side. And when they got into the boat, you know, something happened there. There came a boisterous wind. There came a storm, a contrary wind that came, you know, 
and began to shake the boat. So what am I trying to say? Everything was fine until now. And then we got the news of what is going on all around the globe and happening around us. So it's very easy for us to miss it because of fear and anxiety. It's very easy for you to lose focus of Jesus whom you believe in. It's very easy for people right now to begin to take their gaze off the Messiah, to take their eyes off what the word of God has said concerning a situation like this and begin to set their gaze on what is happening begin to set their minds on what is happening or begin to set their minds on you know the magnitude of the news the magnitude of what is going on all around the globe i am not saying don't watch the news i am not saying don't um watch anything that will keep you informed but be careful what you watch it's not everything that you see right now on the internet that you watch it's not everything that you see that you listen every news you hear right now that you listen to it's cool to be informed but don't let any the things that you are seeing right now get to you because when jesus in, in the book of matthew 14 but from verse 22 down when he said to his boys let's cross over to the other side because he had an assignment he had something to do on the other side and then while they were about crossing to the other side you know maybe i should just quickly read it he says from verse 22 immediately jesus made um, his disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side while he sent the multitudes away like i said he had already fed the five thousand and then he went up on the mountain himself to pray in other words he withdrew to pray to spend time with the father now when evening came he was alone there but the boat was now in the middle of the sea tossed by the waves for the wind was what contrary the wind was contrary in other words a contrary wind a wind that was so wild a wind a raging storm you know came a wind that was so rough, you know, and powerful came. He says, but the boat was now in the middle of the sea and tossed by the waves. That means the waves, you know, from the wind was tossing the boat. And now in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went to them. To who? To his disciples walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled saying it's a ghost and they cried out for fear so i am talking to someone right now it's possible that the magnitude of the news the magnitude of the things that are going on all around the globe right now is getting to you and you are afraid and you are scared i am out here to say to you today remember the word of god remember what you believe in remember the promises of god remember who you are in christ jesus the bible says that he has not given you the spirit of fear no 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 he has given you the spirit of love of power and what and of a sound mind so don't let the things that you watch at this point begin to get to you that's why you need to choose what you watch it's not every video that comes that you just pick up and begin to watch or every news that comes your way that you sit down and begin to listen to choose rightly i am not saying it's wrong to watch whatever is you know will keep you informed on what is happening but at this point we need to be careful because the things we take in the things we see the things we hear the things we watch will make a great impact on your life and if it makes a negative impact on your life then it's disastrous why because it's not just about the crisis you know it's about you setting your mind on the crisis and it begins to affect you in a negative way so it says they cried out for fear but immediately Jesus spoke to them because he saw that they were afraid and he said, be of good cheer. So today I am saying to someone out there, be of good cheer. He says, Jesus said to them, it is I do not be afraid. Today I am saying to someone, be of good cheer. Do not be afraid. God's God is God is in control and Jesus Christ is still alive and well. Then he says, and Peter answered him and said, Lord, 
if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. So he said, come. Jesus said to Peter, come. And when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. I want you to know something. The Bible says he walked on the on the water. When he, Jesus told him to come, what happened? He stepped out of the boat and he began to walk in the supernatural. He started walking on water. Hallelujah. But he says, if you go down, he says, he walked on water to Jesus. But when he saw both, when he saw, he saw with what his eyes. That's why I said, be careful what you watch at this point. Be careful what you see. Be careful what you hear. So it says, the problem here was not the wind itself. The problem was who Peter setting his gaze on the wind, setting his gaze on the contrary wind, and taking his gaze off Jesus. So it's very easy at this point for one to take his or her gaze off Jesus, the one you are serving, the one you are following, and begin to focus on the crisis and focus on what is happening right now. But the Bible says that Jesus said, our God is under control because he stood there and said, come. And this is the same Peter who has seen him raise up the dead. He just saw him fed 5,000 people. He has seen him open the blind eyes. He saw him, you know, heal the sick. He saw him make the lame walk. But now he took up his gaze. He took his gaze of Jesus and set his gaze on the wind. He began to watch the wind. He began to watch the magnitude of the wind. And what happened? He began to see the, how boisterous the wind is. Because if his gaze were on Jesus, he wouldn't be distracted. He wouldn't see how, you know, how rough the wind was. He, was, he, he wouldn't see how, you know, um, energetic the wind was he wouldn't notice the raging storm but because he was not looking at the wind he was watching the wind he lost it if for example i am um, you know my head is bent for example and i am looking at the bible that i have right now if any other thing is happening around me i wouldn't notice right because my thoughts and everything, you know, are right here on what I am reading or what I am looking at. But the moment I begin to get, you know, distracted by the things happening around me right now, for example, there's music playing and zooming, or there are some noises all around here, I will get distracted. But when I concentrate, in other words, focus, it's all about focusing. So if I focus on the word that I have here, the Bible that I have here, I will get distracted. That's just an illustration. So that's to tell you that we shouldn't be, you know, focused on the crisis or what is happening right now. But focus on the promises and the word of God consigning the situation. Focus on what God has said consigning the time of crisis. Focus on what God has said, you know will happen if you trust in him in a time of challenges and come what may he said what be of good cheer do not be afraid so the fact that peter took his gaze of the messiah he took his gaze of jesus that was when he started sinking so sinking came as a result of what watching the wind and fear crept in and then he began to sink. So the problem was that he took his gaze off Jesus and set his focus what on the raging storm, the contrary wind. And because of that, fear crept in. Fear took hold of his spirit. So be careful, people. Why am I saying this? You know, the Bible says he became afraid because he saw how the wind was boisterous. In other words, he saw how rough, how furious the wind was. He saw how, you know, um, energetic and how powerful the wind was. And that was when he lost it because he was already walking on water. You know, it would have been recorded that even Peter walked on water. He was already doing that, but because he 
lost focus of who was right in front of him. So today, I am saying to us today, be careful what you watch. Take your gaze of the storm, the raging storm. Take your gaze of the raging uh, um, contrary wind. Don't watch the wind. Don't watch the storm. Don't watch the crisis. Don't watch. Be careful. Don't, don't spend your time just watching the negative news all day. Take out time to search scriptures concerning the situation. Begin to look for the words of comfort that will comfort you and encourage you in a time like this. Watch videos that will encourage you and build your spirit up in a time like this. Videos that will have a positive impact on your life in a time like this. So please be careful what you watch in a time like this and be of good cheer. Do not be afraid. God has it under control because he stood right in front of him and was like, come. He gave him the command saying, all is good. Hey, Peter, it's fine. I have it under control. I'm in charge. Don't let it bug you. Just come to me. And he started coming, but he missed it because he started watching the magnitude of the wind. The contrary winds made him, you know, to start sinking because he focused on the contrary winds. So I pray today that even in a time like this, you will not spend your time watching the contrary winds. You will not spend your time watching the magnitude of what is happening all around the globe. But rather, you will spend time seeking the face of God concerning the situation, encouraging yourself and building yourself up in the faith, and speaking the word of God because declarations in a time like this is very important. Declare the word of God consigning the situation. Declare the word of God consigning you, consigning your family members. And keep trusting God because he is in charge and he's got it all under control. So relax. It is well. God bless you all and I love you. Bye-bye. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.